Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to another episode of Qasasul Atfal. My name is Samira and this is little Zini. We'll be keeping you company for the next hour. This is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories, we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that special place where we have so much fun. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today, children, we're going to be doing some arts and crafts. But first, let's go for a quick break. <laughs> Welcome back children. Assalamu alaikum Zini. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. That's good, mashaAllah. And tell me little Zini, have you been a good little girl? Um, I hope so. Inshallah. Have you been doing your homework on time? Mm, because I love maths and that's the only subject I get so much of homework. I tell you Samira. <laughs> and have you been doing your madrasa work on time and learning your sabak? Mm -hmm. MashaAllah. Children, have you been studying hard? I hope so, inshaAllah, because we want you to get knowledge as much as you can so that you can learn about all the blessings and all the bounties of Allah and about Allah's creation and all the magical things that Allah created in this world. Little Zini, have you been remembering to read your Quran? Um, she, because I go every day for madrasa. MashaAllah. And have you been making your dhikr? Yep. And Samira, hmm. I use the little birdies you gave me. Oh, children, do you remember the little birdies? Will you be making them soon? If you have, why not send me a picture of it on Samira at itvnetworks.tv. Little Zini, when you do all these good deeds, you must make all your du'as. Because when you make your du'as, then inshallah, Allah will accept these du'as. Um, Samira, mm -hmm. I have another problem. What's the problem now? I'm making du'a for everybody, but I'm forgetting a few names. Oh, I'm sorry, but... You need to make those du'as for those people that you love and care about because we want Allah to accept those du'as. Let's think about it. How can we get little Zini and all of you out there to remember all the names of the people we want to make du'a for? Let's think. While we're thinking children, what do we do? That's uh, right. We make the dhikr of Allah. So little Zini, what shall we say while we're thinking? Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. I might just have an idea. Mm. Children, if you want to know what the idea is, let's go for a quick break. And when we come back, we'll shade. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Welcome back children. Children, would you like to do our arts and crafts that will help little Zini and all of you children out there to remember who to make du'a for, especially in the time when you do good deeds because that's the time when Allah will definitely accept those du'as insha'Allah. Little Zini, would you like to know what I have planned? Um, gee, of course. Insha'Allah. For today's arts and crafts, we'll be making a beautiful du'a tree. Do you know what a du'a tree is? Um, no. Well, a du'a tree is a tree that's full of all the people's names that we need to make du'a 
Afo, inshallah. Amin. <laughs> For our du'a tree, this is what we'll need. We'll need some colored paper or some colored cardboard. We'll need a pair of scissors. We'll need our print. And we'll need our little crayons. The scissors and the print is only if you want to stick some extra things on to make our du'a tree look fancy. However, if you want to make it a simple and sweet du'a tree, all you'll need is some fancy paper and some crayons. Children, we like using things that we have at home. We choose things to make out of things that you find lying around. Pens, pencil, paper. In that way, it's easy for everyone out there watching to do all the arts and crafts that we do here in studio. Children, if you'd like to be with us in studio, teach us to make your own arts and crafts, or even do something that you like best, why not send me an email on samira at itvnetworks.tv. We'd love to have you here with us. For our du'a tree, little Zini, mm -hmm. and children watching, this is what we need to do. I have little paper that's already cut. Do you remember we used this before? Islam teaches us never to waste. So mm -hmm. we'll be using the same cardboard, adding it to it, and making it picture perfect. Can you see how pretty it looks with the design already? Mm. It's going to serve us a purpose though, because this will be the roots of the tree. We're going to draw our ground. Ooh. And then we're going to draw the bark of the tree. Mm. The bark of the tree can be done in any color you like. We're going to do it in brown. Remember, we can color it in. You can shade it. You can put glitter. You can do it in fancy pens. You can do it in fancy colors. You can do it with stickers, stars, or stamps. You can do it with dark shading and light shading. You can do it any way you please. Samira, do fruits grow on a tree? Yes, fruit does grow on a tree. Like how when we do good deeds, we get the fruit of those good deeds. Not the fruit we eat, but the fruit in Jannah, insha'Allah. Mm. And Samira, how do people water such huge trees so they climb up with ladders and go right to the top of the tree? No, we don't need to. The trees that are outside, those are watered by a magical being. Those are watered by Allah. Oh, Allah but waters how? them with the rain. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How to forget. You see, I answered your question even before you asked it. Mm, Samira. <laughs> Let's go on with our tree now. The next thing we're going to do is draw on the leaves of the tree. This tree is going to be orange now and the leaves are all going to be falling off because it's autumn. What season are you in? Well, children, remember, blossoms can be any color. Green, brown, red, yellow. Allah has created them so many different colors. We're also going to do this and then we're going to color it in the same way we did our bark. And little Zini, what shall we do when we're coloring in? Um, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. That's perfect, MashaAllah. Let's read it again. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Let's read it again. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, you're getting so good at making your dhikr. Have you been practicing, little Zini? Mm-hmm. Every morning. MashaAllah. Children, remember, when you make the dhikr of Allah, Allah will be happy with you. Allah will be pleased with you. And inshaAllah, Allah will bless you with Jannah. InshaAllah. Ameen. 
the next thing we're going to do now is to write on all the people's names of those that we need to remember in our du'as. Mm -hmm. Let's do it now. First, we need to remember mommy and daddy. And who else? Um, Samira, write your name there. Okay, I'm going to write my name on your list of du'as. And who else? Um, my grandmommy. And your grandmom? And who else? Um, my... Your granddad? Oh, yes. My uncle. Your uncles. My auntie. Your aunties. My cousins. Your cousins. Um, um, who else? Oh, my brother was there. Oh, your brother. How could you forget your brother? And who else? Um, your little sister. Oh, my sister and my friends. And your friends. And who else? My teachers. Oh, definitely your teachers. And my principal. And your principal is so lucky he gets to us too. Mm. And who else? And um, myself. And for yourself, mashallah, little zini. Children, did you remember more people than the ones we've just mentioned? If you have, please email us and show us a picture of your beautiful du'a tree. Children, remember, when you're making du'as, you can keep your little tree next to you so that, inshallah, you don't forget anybody in your pious du'as. Don't forget to make du'a for us too, okay? Inshallah. Inshallah. But oh, we've oh. come to the end of another show. Don't worry, we'll be back again soon. Yippee! Don't forget to email us. We want to hear from you on Samira at itvnetworks.tv. Until next time, fi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum and bye. Bye.